Let us have a look at this question. The question says this, that the first three movements about the value two of the variable are one, 16 and minus 14. Show that the mean is three, variance is 15 and mu three is minus 86. And you also have to derive for this, the first three movements about the origin, right? So what is given to us? Mu one dash is one. Mu two dash is 16. And mu three dash is minus 40. This is given to us. How do we find out the arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean is one upon n summation of fx, right? So what is going to be this case? That is one upon n summation of. Now, when I write, uh, whether I write x or I write x minus a plus a, that means one of the same thing, right? And you are given the value two. Beta. There is no difference x minus a plus a is x. So I can write it like this. And why I've taken two? Because here, this is around the value two. Uh, so what it is? One upon n summation of f x minus two, right? Plus two is a constant summation f upon n that is just they are equal so that means it is going to be just two only like this right and uh, what is this guy this thing this is nothing but just your mu one dash this is nothing but your mu one dash plus two. Mm -hmm. And uh, why are we saying that this is equal to mu one dash? What is mu one dash? So beta, you remember how do we write the rth movement about the, about a certain value? Uh, so how do we write that rth movement? You remember that? One upon n summation of f x minus a to the power r like this. And when you want to write this r equals to one, and this when r is equal to one, you get this. And this is nothing but equal to mu one dash. And since you have calculated it, you are calculating this for the value two. So it is just your mu one dash. So what is, and mu one dash is value is what one it is given to you plus two. So this is going to be equal to three. Okay. Then the first three movements about mean. R. mu one is equal to zero. The first movement about mean is equal to zero. You have proved this, right? Second movement, this also you have proved in our earlier recording. That is mu two dash minus mu one dash ka square, right? So what is the value for mu two dash? Mu two dash is 16. Mu one dash is one. that is going to be equal to 15, right? Mu three is going to be what? This also you have calculated in our earlier recording, which was mu three dash 
minus three mu two dash mu one dash plus two mu one dash q, right? Okay, what is the value for mu three dash? That is minus 40. You can just put it, sorry, minus three. In place of mu two dash, you guys can write 16. In place of mu one dash, you can write one. Huh? Have I written it right? Yeah, plus two mu one dash ka cube. Plus two mu one dash ka cube. This is coming out to be minus 86, right? So what is it that you have done? You have found out that the mean is three, variance is 15, that is your mu two dash and mu, sorry, that is your mu two, right? That is 15. And the third movement about mean is minus 86. You've done this, fair enough. Now in the second part of the question, you're being asked, that let's find out the first three movements about the, the origin. Now let us find the first three movements about origin. Mm -hmm. So earlier you found out around mean, about mean. Now you, let's try to find out about origin. But a rth movement about a value, about certain value a, it was what one upon n summation of f of x minus a to the power r. Now, if a is equal to zero, it will be what summation of uh, one upon n summation of f into x to the power r. It will be like this. Mu and dashes one upon n summation of f x minus a to the power r, but here a is zero and r is right. A is zero and r is one. So it is what one upon n summation of fx. This is nothing but arithmetic mean. And arithmetic mean you have already found out, which is equal to three. Right. This is already you have found out. This is equal to three. Hmm? Okay. Mu two dash beta. One upon m, one upon n summation of f x minus a to the power r. But here a is zero, r is two. Like this. So it is going to be what? One upon n summation of f x square. Now you tell me, can we write it like this? X minus two plus two. It doesn't make any difference. So let's just open this up. X minus two ka whole square plus four, plus two into two, four, x minus two. Summation of f, x minus two ka whole square upon n plus four. Summation of f upon n plus four, upon n summation of f x minus two. No, but at this, it will be, this is nothing but it just equal to n. So this will go and you'll be left out with what? What is this? You remember your rth movement around 
a point. What was that? One upon an summation of f x minus a to the power r. So if you put r equals to, here, if you put a equals to two and r equals to two, what will you be getting? x minus two to the power two. This thing. So this is what second movement around this particular point, right? We can write it like this. This is just your mu two dash. This guy is mu two dash around the point two, nothing else. This is plus four, right? plus four. And what is going to be the rth movement around a point? Uh, so the first movement around a point two is going to be like this one upon n summation of f x minus two to the power one. This is what it is. Mu one dash. Around two like this, right? You have the values. So mu two dash two, mu two dash two, what, what, what was mu two dash is given to us 16. Mu one dash is given to us one. Uh, so mu two dash is 16 plus four, plus four into one. And this is going to give us what 24. Is going to give us what 24, right? So this is what your second movement around the origin and mu three dash. So I'm assuming that, okay, let me not assume that one upon N summation of F X minus zero to the power three like this. So it is what one upon N summation of f x cube. So it is what? One upon n summation of f x minus two plus two ka cube, right? Huh? So once you just open this up the way we have opened this up, I'm sure you guys will be getting this guy. So how do we do this? One upon n summation of f. This is a plus b ka cube, right? A plus b ka cube. So what is the formula for that? Your a cube. Plus b cube. Here in this case, b cube is two cube plus three a square b plus three a b square like this. No, no. I'll take one more step. plus eight I can write it like this Write this, 
bit of this you should know this is the first movement around point two this is just eight your summation f and n will get cancelled out this is six into this is your second movement around point two this is this is your uh this is not first movement around point two i'm so sorry this is your third movement around point two mu three dash i'm so sorry this is going to be first movement around point two. You just have to plug in the values, right? So this is going to be what mu three dash is given to you as minus 40. Yeah. Mu three dash is given to you as minus 40 plus eight plus mu two dash is given as your mu two dash. What is mu two dash given to us? as uh, 16 right mu 2 dash is given to you as 16 so it is 6 into 16 and what is mu 1 dash given to us 1 right so once i calculate this this will come out to be 76 so this is the question which i wanted to do in this class thank you beta